The last uh, type of problem we need to look at with coordinate geometry is this specific type of question where we want to find the equation of a line which passes through a point of intersection of another two lines. So you know a point and you're told it goes through the point of intersection of another two lines. So something like this. There's our two lines, 2x plus y plus 1 equals 0, 3x plus 5y minus 9 equals 0, and we're also told it goes through the point 1, 2. Now, of course, it would be possible to solve this by finding the point of intersection. So we could solve these simultaneously. Um, let's rewrite them. I'll make the coefficient of y the same. Let's eliminate. And we get 7x is minus 14 x is negative 2, sub back in, and I've got my y coordinate. And so I now know the other point that it goes through is minus 2, 3. And then I could solve it like we have our other problems where, all right, now we'll find the slope between those two points, which is minus a third. We have a point, we have a slope. So point slope formula, and we eventually come up with our equation. Okay, And that works, and there's nothing wrong with that. But there is an alternative way. Okay, Another way we could do it is we could say, if I know it goes through the point of an intersection of these two lines, then it must satisfy both equations. So if I substitute the point into the first equation in general form, it must come up with the answer 0. And if I substitute it into the second equation, it must come up with 0. So therefore it's true that if I added the two lines together, they must equal zero. But we multiply one of the lines by a constant. Because it's zero, we don't actually know what multiple it is. So it, it might be one, but it might be another times a multiple of the, the other line. So just one of the lines. We don't need to do it to both of the lines. Um, because if k does turn out to be a fraction, say it was three quarters, then all right, it was four times the first one, three times the second one. But k will take care of that. So I only need to multiply one of the lines by the constant. So the question we just did then is I say, OK, there's my two lines in general form. I'll, I'll multiply one of them by a constant. But I know a point that lies on that line because it said it goes through the point 1, 2. So if I substitute that into this new equation, I can find a value for k, in this case, negative 5 on 4. And so I now know that the equation of the line is 2x plus y plus 1 minus 5 fourths of the second equation. Well, let's multiply out, tidy up, and sure enough, well, 7 goes into everything there. It does turn out to be the same line. So that's an alternative way of solving that particular type of question. All right, that's all I really wanted to talk about today. So 5F which I, and 5G. So we're going to points of intersections of lines, plus also this specific type of question as well.